what's up you guys, After Show Reacts here and today I'm going to be going into my thoughts about Season 4 of The Vampire Diaries. So usually with these videos I normally uh, put them into three different sections. Uh, I talk about my thoughts on the season, then I answer some of your questions, uh, and then I make three predictions of what I think will happen in the future, uh, as in like the next season. I'm going to try and keep this short uh, as possible because a lot of these end up being like an hour long. <laughs> uh, plus I just really want to start the next season. So what did I think about this season? Overall, uh, I wasn't a huge fan of this season as a whole. Um, I mean it did have low points and those points were very low. Uh, but it also did have some high points. Uh, I think that it picked up some steam around the 15th episode when, you know, well actually I think it was 14th when, when they went after the cure um, and Jeremy died and then like that catapulted the story a lot more, um, which I appreciated. Not that I appreciated that he died, I mean like on a story, story wise I feel like um, it was very uh, exciting from there onwards. The beginning of the season just really pissed me off a lot because it was so whiny and teenage -y. like, it was, like, uh, I mean it had good moments, don't get me wrong, like, you know, Delena, that was really exciting, um, you know, Klaus kind of being a good guy, lots of different things, um, but the things that I just didn't like about this season was how kind of inconsistent some of the characters were um, in regards to like um, like for example Caroline uh, I love Caroline as a character I've I just thought I would let you guys know I do love her but uh, this season she kind of infuriated me a little bit with um, her judgement of Delena, um, I mean, everyone, everyone gets defensive over their ships, and like, that's fine, but I think it was a bit more than just that for me, because, uh, she hated on Damon so much at the very beginning, and then all of a sudden was fine to hang out with him at other points, and then was willing to save his life at another point, like, it was just a little bit inconsistent for me. Um, I don't like the judgement that she kept giving um, to me. Like, I, I felt like her relationship was actually falling apart, so she was just meddling in someone else's business. Um, so yeah, she just kind of infuriated me. But that's my opinion. It, Stefan really annoyed me as well, but it's kind of understandable from his perspective because, you know, he and his girlfriend had just broken up and she's moving on with his, with his brother, like, I, I get it, but it was just annoying to watch. Um, like, I understand everyone's motives and all that kind of stuff, but it's just annoying sometimes. Um, like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I thought that a Abacus was really boring. Um, I'm aware that his name is Atticus. But I like calling him Abacus. I think it's a cool name. I rename people all the time. I renamed a character on Buffy the floppy disk dude. Like, it happens. Um, so yeah, I think that he was a, a, like a means to an end. It's kind of just boring a little bit. Um, you know, I really, really liked Tyler and Caroline's relationship to begin with like in season two uh, and then season three um but this season they just sort of like dragged it through the mud a little bit and like it was a little bit boring and i got annoyed because i think that tyler is overly dramatic um i mean he keeps leaving town every couple of episodes because you know class is coming to get him when really he's not uh like, Klaus even says so himself, I'm not exactly scouring the earth to find him. Like, he's just being super dramatic and I don't know, I just, I feel like they didn't have much story to tell with him, which is kind of sad because he 
was a pack, like an, an alpha of a pack of wolves and werewolves and then once they were all like slaughtered by uh like well hybrids actually once they were all slaughtered by Klaus uh he pretty much had nothing to do and and he kind of just got sidelined and then like ran out of town um and i feel like that's just a mistake on you know the writer's part because they could have done so much more with his character but they were like oh we find that this we find matt more entertaining and we're gonna give him more scenes even though tyler has like a supernatural reason i don't know um they keep giving storylines to characters that don't need them is what i'm trying to say like they don't really know what to do with Tyler and it got to the point where I'm like really you're just being overly dramatic and now with him coming back I think uh I don't even want him to come back because he's kind of boring at this point I'm like over their relationship because of the way that it's been written uh and yeah um Bonnie is another one that they neglect and they only use when it's useful to the plot as well, which is really sad because everyone knows that Bonnie is the unsung hero of the show. Uh, she's like literally sacrificed her life now to uh, bring Jeremy back. And you know what? Like throughout the entire season, they were like, you know, they were hinting at, you know, uh, jo Jeremy and Bonnie getting back together and like having feelings for each other again and all that kind of stuff. But you never saw anything about it until she was dead. Like, they keep sidelining characters that are interesting, are important to the story, and I think that's really, really disappointing. Um, someone pointed out, I can't remember who, but it was like, um, they made Bonnie prom, prom queen, and it's like, Really? You don't even, like, really use her all that often. Like, I remember in season one, when her grams died, she was gone for, like, five episodes. Like, sure, you know, she's grieving or whatever, but... Really? You thought, you know... I, I, it just bothers me that they sideline her, and they sideline all these really interesting characters, and yet they keep Matt on the show, and, like give him scenes with Rebecca, like, she can do so much better. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was a little bit disappointing. Uh, like, I, I love Bonnie. I think that she was, like, super badass this season. Uh, and she saved Jeremy's life, and that was exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm just a little bit disappointed with how they uh, write some of the characters sometimes. Delina happened, and that was really awesome, um, because I'm a Delina shipper. Uh, it was a little bit annoying with the whole Cybon business. I think that that was just creative to create drama, and it was such a, um, such a cheap way to create drama between them, um, because we all knew that it was real. Like, come on. If... <laughs> Don't even try and trick me into believing that it wasn't real because she clearly had feelings for him before. Uh, because she had to choose between both of them, you know? So yeah, that was a little bit annoying. We got the Hunters as well, which were kind of meh. Like, I don't know. We had, I think, I think the most interesting part of this season for me was Emotionless Elena. And then the finale. Uh, so that's my thoughts on the season, and I'm going to get into some of your questions now. Camelos21 asks, Do you think creating a spin-off of the originals was a good idea? Maybe you'd prefer if the original characters stayed on the Vampire Diaries? You know, I feel like they were amazing in Season 3. Um, I feel like they were sort of just shoehorned a little bit in to Season 4. They didn't have a whole lot to do. Um, I mean, sure... Like, they had things to do. But I just feel like they didn't fit very well. Uh, Rebecca wanted the cure. You know, Klaus wanted to help get the cure. 
Um, I just feel like they weren't as big of a thing this season. Um, which is really disappointing because I love the originals. But, you know, I'm glad that they're getting their own show because, like, they deserve the spotlight. And I feel like this season they didn't really get it. So I'm glad that they, that there's a spin-off. Although it's going to be hard to react to. Rudy asked, What are your overall thoughts about Alina being a vampire this season? Do you enjoy her character more as a human or as a vampire? You know what? I actually really enjoyed Vampire Alina. I feel like she definitely came into her own. She really knows what she wants now. Uh, she can, you know, defend herself. She's not always, help, I'm in danger! And then, like, have Damon or Stefan save her. She can actually save herself now, which is amazing. Um, yeah, so I like her being a vampire. I think, I think it brings out um, who she really is. And, yeah. I really want to try and pronounce her name, but I can't. Uh, Ping asked, how would you rank the first four seasons? How do you feel about the way Delena was handled this season? And what are your current ships? Uh, if I could rank the seasons, I would probably rank... Number three, season three would be my favourite. Um, and then maybe season two, and then season four, and then season one, I think. The reason the season four is so low down is just because of all the drama and all the stuff that was... I don't know, just this season left me with a weird feeling at the end. Although the finale, like, made up for that. Uh, I didn't like how Delina was handled this season. I feel like it was just drama creative for being drama. The Cyaline bullshit was just, ugh. It was infuriating. Everyone was like, oh, your feelings aren't real. She's gonna be human. She's not going to love you anymore. Like, like she didn't love him before. Like, she wasn't attracted to him before she, she turned into a vampire. I can probably pick out, like, three scenes where she straight up was in the, like, you can clearly see she was straight up into Damon. It's frustrating. My current ships are Delena. I like me some Ca Clara line. I feel like Barry wasn't really explored this season, so I can't really. I, I don't know if I ship them or not. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. But yeah, that's all I got. Shay asked, "Why do you think that Rebecca deserved the cure most? Just because she's been a vampire the longest? No, I don't think anyone deserved the cure. I think that they should have just cured Silas." And kill them. Like, that would have been the responsible thing to do. But now, they had hell on earth and all that bullshit, like... Because they were... I think that everyone on the show was too selfish to actually accept the fact that the cure wasn't for them. They just... They just found something and they said it was theirs when it wasn't. Um, I think that, yeah, I definitely think they should have used the cure on Silas, because now they're paying the price with Stefan being at the bottom of the ocean. And Silas being free. Shay also asked, Who do you want to see more slash less of next season? And who did you want to see more slash less of in season four? Well, you know I want to see less of Matt. Like, oof. that's just a given though. Uh, I want to see more of Delena. Just Delena all the time. Um, more Lexi. I miss Lexi. I miss Alaric. It was awesome seeing him. I wanted to see more of Bonnie this season because, like, I feel like they didn't... They just don't use her well. They use her when plot needs her and then they... They're like, okay, you can take this episode off. Yeah. What do you think of Elena and Jeremy's relationship? Uh, I really enjoy their relationship. I think it's re really kind of beautiful. Um, I did realize that at the beginning of the season, she was like, um, she basically said, I, c I can't handle my brother being dead and blah, blah. And then like 
later on in the season, he did die, um, and she just fell apart out of all, everyone that she's ever lost. This was the one that hit her the most, uh, which was really, really sad. Um, and, and, you know, she was so angry when she got her humanity back. And then, you know, Jeremy shows up and, and she just sees clarity again. It's, it's, it was kind of, it was just beautiful. It was really, really beautiful. I love their relationship. I, I don't know how to pronounce that, but they asked, do you react to the originals? Uh, I will be reacting to the originals, and what this means is, uh, ordinarily you would get two episodes of The Vampire Diaries a week. Now it'll be two episodes of The Vampire Diaries Verse. So what this means is, you could get two Vampire Diaries episodes one week, or you could get two originals episodes, or you could get one originals, one Vampire Diaries. It depends on the watch order. That has been created by uh, one of my moderators, Pegan. She is fantastic. Uh, she's ran it past a bunch of people and basically, like they all said, good, good, good watch order. Um, I'm not watching it uh, the way that it aired because, well, I don't need it to be, it doesn't need to be watched like that. Um, and don't tell, don't, don't tell me that it does, okay? Because Pagan knows everything. Uh, <laughs> and basically, uh, it just suits my watch schedule sometimes because I'll, I hate going from one show to another show because like, one show may be really, really dark and the other one might be really, really light and then it's like really jarring to watch both of them and remember what happened in the last episode kind of thing. Um, I like watching multiple episodes at a time and all that kind of stuff, so uh, the, tr trust me when I say this, the watch order will be good. You will enjoy it. Even though I haven't even tried it or started it or anything like that, I trust Pegan. And Pegan we trust. Vanya Montoya asked, what are your expectations about the originals? Uh, I expect that I'm going to be gushing about Marcel's voice all the time. Uh, I expect that, you know, we're going to learn more about the original's history, uh, how they know Marcel, and basically, just the family aspect, I suppose, will be used a lot more, um, and I'm really, really excited. Catherine Coz asked, I know you hate Matt, but leaving the hatred aside, what do you think of Elena lighting her humanity for him? A friend. Also, what was your favourite characters, male and female, this season? Uh, I think it made sense to, you know, the, the situation. Uh, I mean, like, the whole reason that Elena is a vampire is because she loved Matt so much that she sacrificed her life to make sure that he survived. Uh, and I think it came full circle when he was the one to kind of bring her back to life, almost with her humanity. Um, so I think that that worked really, really well, and it was the one good thing he was good for. As for my favourite characters this season, Damon will always be a favourite character of mine, uh, and probably either Elena or Klaus, I'm not sure. Um, I know that Klaus is a male. And that doesn't work. I really liked Rebecca. I don't know, Elena or Rebecca. If I could pick four, it would be Elena, Rebecca, Klaus, and Damon. Baby Jenks asked, What do you think about Silas and his story so far? Honestly, uh, I'm not too excited about it. I will admit, uh, because I'm a little bit confused about some of the situations. Uh, don't answer. I don't want to know. Please do not answer any of these questions that I'm about to raise. Okay? Don't want to know. Like, I, I would like to figure them out myself. Um, I don't, I don't understand the whole, he can't hide from me business, and then he was able to hide from her again. I don't know. I feel like that was a bit of a cop out. Um, I like the idea of, you know, our characters going evil. I like them playing evil versions of themselves, but essentially he's playing a different 
character, Paul Wesley, I think his name is. Uh, and I don't know, I I just don't like the idea of Silas right now. Um, maybe that'll change though, uh, because this was more of a season to set him up, I guess. Um, I don't know. I feel like you can't beat Klaus. So those were your questions. Uh, I hope I answered them to the, your liking. Uh, and now I'm going to go into some predictions that I have for season five. So my first prediction is that we'll get to explore Catherine being human because she uh, was obviously force fed the cure and that was really funny because the one that didn't deserve it, like the, the one, I don't know, I just, I, it was just so comic that like she got the cure, it was really funny, I, I enjoyed that. Um, my second prediction is that we will get so much more Delina. I love them. My third prediction is that Tyler won't last the season. Uh, in regards to this, he will either die or leave again. Because that seems to be all he does. Uh, it's really annoying. I just find him kind of a, a, like boring at this point. I don't know. Normally, I would make predictions for the originals, but... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go in blind. Uh, kind of. I mean, I know what the show's somewhat about. Because, you know, backdoor pilot and then the pilot. But hey! I hope you guys are excited to watch with me. So those are my thoughts on season 4 of The Vampire Diaries. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I did enjoy the season. It was, you know, a roller coaster ride. But it wasn't my favourite season, and I can't wait to start season 5. And now that I have made this video, I can do that! Yay! Uh, so, normally I would have Vampire Diaries on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, however, I've moved some things around, and now uh, Vampire Diaries is only going to be on one day, but it's going to be two episodes. So, uh, you know, it, it, it'll be Monday, you'll either get... Two Vampire Diaries episodes on Monday, or two episodes of the originals on Monday, or one Vampire Diaries, one originals. Depends, okay? But it'll, they'll both be out on Monday, okay? That way I can work the schedule around a bit better. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys are looking forward to this. I hope you guys enjoyed the season with me, and I'll see you in the next season.